It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this Fellowship of Guardians event. I want to talk a little bit more in depth about team building and why this video is not a good one. What are we talking about is this um, this this new style of event that's kind of a basic it's kind of a basic soul stone event, but it includes three heroes. We had the the night flight or night flyer event a couple of a couple of weeks ago, and it was just you know a collection of three heroes that you can collect stuff for, and I think that was a test for this longer three-day event i believe that was only like a one-day event but uh, regardless you have a, a very straightforward event here it's not themed around anything but it is based on these barbarian boxes and each of these barbarian boxes as a reward contains five soul stones for astaroth elamir or rufus and if you're curious about the different tasks just you know go to the daily task and click on it as you go through here but this is a uh, this is an unfortunate um, this is an unfortunate thing that we're starting to see more and more of here on the Facebook and the web version of the game is uh, events events that don't really reward you that well for the effort that you put into it. And what am I talking about? Now, obviously, logging in, getting six free boxes here, that's 30 soul stones. It is what it is. And, you know, the VIP, if you've already, you know, if you've already spent up VIP, you get these rewards. But the style of rewards that you get, the five soul stones, and indeed the three that we have here in this option, the, uh, the Astaroth, Elmer, and Rufus, all three of these heroes are incredibly easy to get, incredibly straightforward to get. I guess actually technically level 50, you need to get Grand Arena tokens for the uh, for the for the for the Grand Arena shop to get Rufus. But as long as you're level 50 or higher, you shouldn't have any difficulty at all collecting these soul stones. And the other reward for this event is the small skin stone chests. These are the 10 skin stone chests. Now what we've what we haven't had in a while is a really strong outland coin slash skin stone event here on Facebook and web. And for whatever reason that is, I, I really don't know, but this has been, these styles of events have been really the main way of getting skin stone chests. And, and unfortunately they're the small ones, the main way in a long time. We have to be careful of events like this. This is an obvious resource drain event. This one is designed to get you to spend some resources. All right, they throw a couple of popular characters at you. And they'll, you know, in the last one it was like, you know, Yasmin, you know, Anvari. This one you have Astaroth, which is one of the most popular tanks. These other two heroes are thematically grouped in with Astaroth because of their barbarian skin release, which they were released all together. Despite the fact that you can easily get these soul stones, they, they dangle this event and like, all right, well, we might as well spend some resources since this is the event. You absolutely should not. You absolutely should not waste your resources on this style of event. You should never waste resources on soul stone events unless it's a relatively new hero or a reworked hero on an account that you need. You should never waste that many resources. To kind of extend from there, these boxes right here, these barbarian boxes, the only thing that these are good for, and, and again, if you're building Astaroth, Elmir, or Rufus in your team, and you need to get these heroes to absolute star, then this is a good event. But for the majority of you, this is not a good event. These barbarian boxes, you need to save them. You need to save them for an event that requires you to open soul stone chests, or, or collect soul stones, I should say, hero soul stones. At the end of October, there's the Halloween event. Every year we have a Halloween event. They introduce new devil skins. Sometimes there's a new hero. Sometimes there's a reworked hero. Without fail, the last two years, one of the tasks has been to collect 1,000 hero soul stones in order to complete that chain of that task. You should be saving all year long Events like this, you should be saving these chests for those styles of events. There's the Summer Festival event that has the similar one. I believe Winterfest has the uh, Collect Hero Soul Stones, as well as other smaller events throughout the year. And next week, we have a, a pet event. We're going to, you know, around the time of publishing of this video, maybe a little bit after, we're going to have a video from the from the, uh, from the the Hero Wars Facebook team about the new pet, which is a Yeti or a, a penguin or whatever it is. But that event might require you to open soul stone chests or collect soul stones as it were as well. And this is a great opportunity to do that because pets, pets are important. They're more important than the heroes. If you are able to stack these up, you'll be ready for events like that. If we consider what it takes to get these five soul stones let's say we spend 250 emeralds um, let's say we spend 500 emeralds let's just say 500 emeralds it's a nice round number that's six chests that's 30 30 soul stones of your choice okay now i'm collecting rufus soul stones i need to collect rufus soul stones or i'm collecting astaroth soul stone how long will it take you to collect 30 of those soul stones how long will it take you not very long not very long like i said the the outland shop you can easily earn enough coins to buy five elmir stones per day so in six days you'll have the same amount 
Same can be said for farming the campaign for Astaroth. Now, of course, this is a, a lower level account, so I don't really have much unlocked. But every time you raid uh, one of these mission, these hero missions three times all at once, you just click raid times three, you're always guaranteed, well, I can't because I don't have VIP on this, uh, on this account, you're always guaranteed to get at least one soul stone. So throughout the course of leveling up your other heroes, collecting items for your other heroes, you can easily collect you know, 30 Astaroth soul stones across a couple of days, easily, without without really that much investment. Now, all that being said, your average resources expended per day, you should still do that. You should still log in. You should still, you know, if you spend 500 emeralds a day on, on energy or activity, then you should still do that. If you only spend 100 emeralds on activity, I know some people will jump in here and they'll they'll just buy the 50 and then the 50 and then call it a day, right? They'll, they won't buy any of the 100. There is some math that, you know, you can figure out to figure out exactly what you need per day. Uh, but you need to talk to your guild about how much activity per day you need to be doing. And then from there, you know, just play the game like normal. You need to be disciplined. It is my opinion. It is my suggestion. And I plead with you guys, do not waste a lot of resources on this event or events like this. The only reward are soul stones that you can easily get and small skin stone chests. It's not a great event to spend time or resources on. Save them for bigger events. Save them for pet events. Save them for the summer festival, the Halloween event, the winter fest, um, big new hero, big hero rework event. Save those resources for those style of events. This is, this is a trap. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.